On the one hand, you have people that are desperately poor that need to increase their consumption to improve their quality of life. On the other hand, you have people that are saying, you must use less energy. And uh, this, this sounds like a contradictory message often. However, if we were to look a little bit closer, and again, to think about the services people require, we take lighting, for example. Using very efficient lighting technologies, such as LEDs, you can provide the same amount of lighting, but you require much less electricity to do so. So it's possible with efficient technology just to make this precious resource energy go a lot further. And if we do that properly, I think that we can, at a lower cost, provide access to far more services than we would normally be able to do. So uh, energy efficient technology is absolutely vital to being able to provide the services that, that people require into the future. Okay, I think in order to, you know, we work uh, essentially in uh, Eastern Europe. Yeah. And in uh, now, you know, recently we started also working in uh, North Africa. We see that for many, many reasons, uh, energy efficiency is going to be an area of, I would say, a lot of development in the coming years. Why energy efficiency, particularly in relation to Eastern Europe? Because you have a lot of installed capacity, you know, installed capacity of electricity network, of district heating, you know, so, uh, of industrial capacity. But a lot of it is quite old, right? And so a lot of it technologically, if you want, you know, needs to be to a certain extent, you know, more than updated, often, you know, redesigned and reconceived. So the opportunity for reduction of energy consumption and also of reduction of carbon emission linked to energy efficiency is massive in this region. I think also what we see is that given the current economic environment, Energy efficiency is a action, an activity, you know, that meets several strategic issues. It relates to energy security. It relates also to the overall energy supply uh, equation, because often there is a sentence, you know, that the cheapest way uh, of producing or having uh, energy available is actually to save it, right, rather than to have to build, you know, new uh, power plants. And also, if you look at it more from an environmental point of view, then energy efficiency also contributes then to you know, reduction of carbon emissions. So our view, uh, and we've seen that in terms of our own business, you know, we started a very focused approach on this six years ago. After six years, we've essentially built a portfolio in this area of energy efficiency and renewable energy of about you know, 500 projects and about 9 billion euros of our investment. Right, so total investment probably around 25 billion euros. So, and we've seen the growth uh, of this over time quite significant because as oil, uh, let's say, as energy prices are rising, the rationale, you know, for energy efficiency is also increasing. So, these are, at least in our opinion, the reasons and the direction of why we believe energy efficiency financing will be an area of continued growth.